Hello, my name is Henry. I'm a co-owner of Buzz Photo. Uh, I'm also a photographer, a uh, full-time paparazzi. I started this industry um, a long time ago. I don't even remember how long ago, actually. Um, I used to be a full-time engineer when I first started uh, taking pictures, actually. Um, I used to do photography as a hobby. And the way it started was uh, I had a mutual friend with a paparazzo. I rode with this one paparazzo and you know he was taking me down the street and showing me how the business worked. Um, I was riding as a passenger as a you know um, as a beginning photographer in this industry I was kind of like shocked initially what we were doing because for one I don't watch TV and I never looked at any of the magazines like the tabloid magazines and so forth so I didn't really know who anybody was and that first day that we went out we found like about eight celebrities it was just incredible the the rush that I was feeling I remember him finding uh, our first subject and uh, he would park on the red zone for example uh, the car was completely tinted out and he, we would shoot through the front window and I would ask him does he see us does this celebrity see us and he says nah he doesn't have a clue that we're here and basically that's how I got the adrenaline rush and the, and the bug and in a sense I got hooked from then and that's how I started the business I learned how to shoot you know paparazzi in the old school way which is very discreet you know kind of like a like a secret agent in a sense my photography salary kept increasing and my engineering sal salary stayed at one level and I realized to myself that I had unlimited potential with photography and engineering was no longer uh, a thing that was interesting anymore. I mean, interesting to me. Don't get me wrong, engineering is always a big part of my life because it taught me how to reason, how to become an entrepreneur, how to become a businessman, and so forth. And I took and applied it to, to photography. It's, it's funny, that I've always get asked this question of, you know, how do we find these celebrities, you know? Um, but the reality of it is that, you know, celebrity itself, just that word, is driven by multi-million dollar corporations. You know, it's not just driven by, you know, just the, the fact that they're just celebrities and that they have a private life and so forth. No, no, no. These celebrities, you know, are sponsored by multi-million dollar corporations like Coke, uh, water, you know, like anything that they wear, like uh, just everything that they eat. Those are, you know, the, the foundation of, of where their money and, and, and advertisement comes from. And so in a sense, whenever they go into a restaurant, you know, whenever they go into a clothing store, whenever they go pretty much anywhere, you know, you could argue that the whole town is wired because they're driving you know, that economic circle in a sense. Because of that, um, that's how we get our information. Um, for example, they go into a clothing boutique. Obviously, if you were um, smart and you're a retailer that wants free advertisement, you know, there's no other way of getting free advertisement than, you know, calling your local agency, a paparazzi agency in that sense, to get a picture of, let's say, Paris Hilton carrying your latest bag or clothing or apparel or food and having it published in all the magazines around the world. The, the way they know how to call is basically, um, you know, there's certain uh, agencies that are well known within the industry. Not only that, like uh, we actually approach some of these, you know, uh, retail stores and give them business cards to, to call us. And in a sense, that's how the word spreads out. And between photographers that we have, photographers that have worked for us and so forth, the word has kind of spread out and in a sense that's how our name got out there. 
like every other industry, you know, there's slang that comes out of it. Uh, you know, and some of the slang that comes out of it is only, you know, restricted within this community. And other photographers that have been in the business for years, they don't understand this type of, you know, terminology. And so I'm here to educate you on that. A hose down is when you, you know, take uh, multiple pictures of one subject, you know, at one given time. You know, nowadays with digital technology, it's so easy to do. I mean, you're shooting 10 frames a second, you're shooting at 8 frames a second, you know, at high resolution, 10 megapixels or 8 megapixels, and you're just pretty much, you know, opening the faucet and it's just, you know, <laughs> the water's just going. And so that's what a hose down is. We have uh, going long. Going long is when you want to be as discreet as possible and you want to give the celebrity some room. Uh, you shoot with like a 300 or 400 millimeter lens, you know, and you just give them distance, you know, like most of the time they don't really know what you're up to uh, because you're pretty much like uh, in an incognito place, you know, it's trying to capture the moment, them not knowing what you, you're doing and, um, you know, them doing, th them being as natural as possible. So that's what going long is. So a gangbang is when you have 50 to 100 photographers all surrounding uh, one particular celebrity. You know, and nowadays they have 17 millimeter lenses which are pretty much considered fisheye. And you could pretty much get a full length shot of somebody, you know, being like, you know, four feet away from them. And you picture 50 photographers all with 17 millimeter lenses, you know, taking pictures of this one particular celebrity at one point. And hence, that's your gangbang. Uh, dog pack would be something similar. It's exactly the same thing, but they're more, you know, carnivorous, I guess. <laughs> you have um, other terms like uh, incognito or, you know, um, you know, being uh, a ninja in a sense, and that's when like you're, you you take your car and you use that as your covering, you know, as your your hiding place. You know, you have a fully tinted car, and what you do is you put curtains so that it makes it even darker, and you're shooting from inside the car. The celebrity never has a clue that you're there. Between Brad and myself, we decided that we wanted to you know, take people, photog aspiring photographers, amateur photographers, and, and train them in this industry, but train them in a way that they become real professional photographers, um, you know, that have respect, that have morals, that, you know, don't violate any of the laws, California or federal laws, and so forth, that, that get the shots, you know, without having any moral issues. and. In a sense, that's how that's that's what the foundation of Buzz Photo was all about. There had to be something about them that we liked before we actually hired them, and that thing that they had to have was drive, a drive to succeed and to become a better person. You know, and that was the only way that we could actually you know, give them a chance. And, and we took some of these people and they're some of our best photographers now.